Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Tron Warlord Liu Bei Let's Play. We continue for episode 9 as we left off at this battle. It's actually a battle that we forgot to do before we hit end turn, so they sally out to fight us. And we will oblige. And we should score a pretty easy follow-up victory against Jin Huan Sanjie's last outpost here. Next turn as we're pretty much just trying to clean up the borders so that we can focus on Cao Cao's faction as he owns all the seats. Now honestly, I don't know how the game deal with AI victories because by my rough estimation, I feel like Cao Cao should have enough for a victory already. He has all three Emperor seats and I want to say he has enough for 95 counties. Maybe that's just not the case, but it definitely feels that way. They... They might have cavalry, actually. I think they went the Han route. Let's put that here. Yeah, because they have towers, so they definitely went the Han route. We're gonna go look for a fight. Please start a few duels. I think they'll eventually come towards us. Everyone's willing to fight, that's good. They do have a cavalry unit. Wow, Zhao Fei kills fast. That's without using any abilities. We should trade here and just chunk him. Alright, he's mad. Come back to us. Tower is hitting us. Get back on your horse. I mean, Zhang Fei with his weapon and super, super high hit rate really shouldn't be a problem. This one doesn't activate in duels, so it's literally just the hit rate. Hold off on this until it's not the cavalry unit who's in the forest. Zhang Fei might finish. Oh, he finished before him. Okay, I was like, Zhang Fei might finish two before he finishes even one. Oh, not so long after. Oh, get the, yeah, get on the horse. Okay, none of the units that are stopping us are spear units. Uh, we're gonna get charged, split up. We can't turn that fast. Try to make them miss the charge. Alright, we'll fight them. We should be strong enough to beat up a mercenary cab that's not charging directly at us. Oh, 
If he was, you know, kept facing that way, or, you know, when we activated it, it would have killed more people. It's okay. John Face is still going to kill a lot of people. They're pulling back. Why? What's over there? Alright, make sure we route it. Okay, we're good. They're pulling back, huh? They see these, and these. They should be coming towards us. Okay, they're coming. Alright, we'll put the generals on this side. Gotta watch them slowly crawl towards us. Not all firing. Yeah, why are they keep moving up? All right, I should quickly destroy this and then just peel them back. One problem with crossbows in this mod is they just don't have enough ammo.
军士兵正在溃逃。军士兵正在溃逃。准备好了。All right, got the easy win. Uh, we have some Nama units, so this is useful. I think this army needs supplies. Oh, Shamoke got summoned. Okay, the Civil War partners are fighting each other. Shushu joins us, and we get ourselves a weapon. Oh. So she very well might be a spy. But... Maybe we can make her Adobe's wife. We don't have an heir yet. All our spies are kind of worthless now because they all they all stayed with Liu Zhang, who only ended up with one county. So he's extremely useless. We can't steal any land with that. We might just be calling all of them back and see who we can use and who we don't need. And we'll figure things out from there. We will go attack Sini as quickly as we can. Yeah, we'll wipe this out hopefully next turn. And that should allow us to maybe peace out with Dojong because he has two vassals, I think. Yeah, we can wipe out both of them within the turn. So Jin Huan Sanjie goes first. 43%. It'll be a nice capture. Hold on, we can improve that odd a little bit. That's good, and we'll take replenishment because he is leading the army now. Extra capture rate, but the level difference is so huge. Jump phase higher level is gonna be better. We'd rather take mock here because he's not leading. Speed now he does have extra campaign movement. So if I put this on and then I pick this up, maybe he's a better commanding general than Jump Fei, but right now he's not. Uh, we can try to build him towards that. 53%. We'll take that. It's not going to get better than Decisive Victory, so it's just really up to chance. 50%. And of course, even if we do capture him, he might not want to work for us, so we didn't get him, we didn't get him. One faction gone. Well, you also need to take this so we can peace out with them. Rushing defeat, so we have to fight this manually again. Let's do it. Ah, rice patty fight. Should be pretty straightforward. They have to file out of a very narrow choke. We have our siege weapons. Shouldn't be too difficult here. Uh, weather is not super great. Yeah, basically we set up our siege weapons in the back. Crossbow. Probably don't eat these guys. I don't think they have cavalry. All 
I'll take out their strongest one first. That's without God of War. Oh, he just died. We hit him once and then we got to war him. Come on, say yes. This is not say yes or no, it's just... Huh. There we go. That is a lot of guys coming out of here. Why he just hits hard? It's, it's the massive high hit rate again. And he's done. Alright, girl, you want a piece of this? No? Bites you on foot? Oh! That was close. What are you guys trying to do, huh? Yeah, come back here and fight me. the field. Should be pretty much done. Looks like army loss about to trigger. I don't want to fight near our own traps and kill our cavalry that way.
心无杂念，则必有神助。让他们死得体面一些。这些逆贼只有死路一条。Not really interested in the units. Now we can peace out. We don't need to be the one wiping them. We can take all their cash. They don't really have much to offer. We'll take that too. Now. Zhang Fei's unit will go down, start taking Cao Cao's land. We're going to give Shizia two more generals. Zhang He will be fine in this army. And we need a cavalry general, don't we? Dong Xi would work. We get Protector of Heaven, which is sort of a frontline option. We get rid of this. Go for another elite cavalry. He can get a couple more bomb slingers because we have sort of frontline units across the board, even on the range component. So this works. They will attack them. He will come down and attack this. This army is kind of in the middle of nowhere. We'll probably go over here to either attack Dojong or. Yeah, let him do that. We're going to set sail. We're going to go take Kui Path. We should probably march. Alright, see if we can make the rest of the distance in two turns. Who else ranked up? Administrator. Okay, do your administrator things. One ping leveled up. He has a long way to go. He had a satisfaction problem before, now it's not really a problem. Thirty-three, it's a little low. That's not a big deal. It's actually pretty low with 75 points added in. But hopefully it'll bounce back. Ah, this is still a problem. So all we really have to do here is send three generals of decent rank and have them help with the fight. Rank seven. We don't need any units. Rank eight. Oh, set bonus. Okay, sure. I mean, it's not going to be that useful. I just want them to have some damage so that they can help kill the enemy a little bit faster. We're facing off against a rank 14. They'll attack us again during the end turn, and then we'll just defend. I think we're going to give up pretty much all the holdings in the north. We're dropping these levels down to get the money before we lose them. The idea is probably we take this and we hold them at Badong and Kui Path with two armies. And then we lose Runan and Xiangyang. And then we form another line at Changsha to kind of hold against them. Uh, our own tribute moment. But then we need armies to be cleaning up the land behind. And that should do it. About the spies. Um, it is a financial drain for sure. And it's not cheap with the characters that we are using as spies. So perhaps we can call them back and also weaken Niu Zhang here who's still at war with us. So you can see these armies are still hostile armies, but we can change that by sort of recalling all of them. They have one administrator, but that's the capital province like we mentioned, so kind of pointless. Are anyone family members? I guess there wouldn't be any because they just had a huge civil war, so all the family should have left him. Yep, that's the case. 
I guess we can just extract everyone. I I actually don't think anyone has any negative points. Yeah, because the Civil War just happened, so no one actually has any issues. They're all on the field. So our spying operation will come to an end for now. I don't think we'll be able to spy against Hall's Hall. Oh, not enough points. Uh, could you hand some points over? Should be enough for them to get out. There we go. We just recalled everyone, and Dojan just lost all his armies on the field that we just saw earlier. He still has his own army. Good for him, but, you know, easily destroyed by what we have. They can probably start moving. We don't need the mustering bonus. Yeah, we need to get to here. We're not at war with them yet, but Dojon first, then the rebel faction. I think that's pretty much it. We have 7k in the bank. We don't have a lot of money coming in our way. Are all the salaries pumped into us right away? They're not back yet. Oh, faction grudge. We fire you. Uh, we probably also want to pick her up. She also come with items plus a gold elephant. That's a copy of her. Pretty sure she's highly likely to be a spy. Because she has no prior faction grudge. Just kind of, you know, impossible to just be dumped like this. So, given that we're trying to roleplay as... Uh, this is a set, but the set bonus doesn't matter because it's an administrator one. But the individual bonus is still good. Nobody needs a wife, and nothing says the king of Nanjong like marrying uh, what would be known as a Nanman back in the day. She's single, right? Yeah, she's single. They don't hate each other. That's good enough. And then we make her heir, because uh, Yoshan's way too young. Now we just gotta make sure her satisfaction is 100. It is, so she, even if she's a spy, she will slowly defect over. The risk is she takes some action before then and potentially assassinate us. That's like the worst, worst case scenario. I don't think you'll get there. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. And you can see our income bounce back because of the anti-corruption that we added with her item. We have actually another copy of it. Where is our... Coral, where are you? All right, our Prime Minister dropped the 5% income. 5% corruption reduction is much more useful. That's fine. Better horse for you. Everything else looks good. They will do their thing. All right, with what limited money we have left, we want to focus on corruption reduction buildings. Things like this. We're out of money there. Two K. Yeah, we just don't have any more money for those. All right, then let's see. We don't even have enough for that. That's fine. We'll shave a few characters off next turn. Should be good. Oh, they are a willing trade partner. But I really do want to symbolically take over Chengdu. So we're probably not going to peace out with them. I could actually peace out with Liu Zhang, but next turn, because we have to take Xinyi's land first. That's not a bad deal. Oh, 
he doesn't have money. Decently generous, despite being poor. We need all the help we can get. Oh, that's nice. And let's just lock it in with a food. Pick up some more spare cash on top. We actually could still use a few more of those. Now we're gonna wipe them out so we don't actually have trade partners. But Liu Zhang could be a trade partner if we keep him alive. So we'll see what happens next turn. But that's pretty much where we stand. We have a little bit extra cash. Hold on, we might be able to build that somewhere. There we go. Now we really don't have money anymore. Public order looks okay. Let's push it. I don't understand why Imperial Intrigue is still a thing. Even though we're sort of done with the Emperorship. The mod has a lot of weird things, I have to say. But now to the 11k income, it's a lot better than it was before. I think we were making like 2.4 before we picked up a wife. And they say, wife, I'll spend all your money. Not always the case. Alright, there goes our mine in Runan. Xiaoyang's gonna fall next. Cao Cao's gonna be pushing all his forces south. We have to try to clean up the south as quickly as possible so that we can deal with him before he gets past the Yangtze River. I don't want to deal with you because I actually do want to wipe you out. Ah, peaceful. He has such a good personality too. Alright, we have to fight this one. The looters. Peaceful. I mean, we could not take Shu. It's not a big deal. There is an armor smith. But aside from that... Eh. Like, in a sense, it's more symbolic than anything else. Alright, they're attacking from one gate. Objective is pretty easy, actually. We... We move everyone out. We hide them here. Actually, we don't even need to hide them. We can be here. Basically force the enemy to fight us with the towers. Any 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 takers? Oh, cavalry. Hold on. Ooh, they have a bandit trait in them. They're gonna burn down the whole settlement. Gonna kill the cavalry first. Man, his health is dropping fast. Not ideal. Okay, our settlement's gonna get crushed. It doesn't actually matter where we fight now. We need to... Ooh, firebomb. It'd be a nice general to grab, actually. Oh. Juk, 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 juk. We can kill him on foot. He's the only one we kind of need to kill to make sure our units have a chance. Alright. 
So we lost two, and then he died. If we can get back on our horse, then we have a decent chance of winning this. Because our units can fight. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, we don't need the tower. What we need is just to get this back. Actually, you know, with all spears, we can probably... ...not worry too much about the cavalry issue. Back off first. Alright, got the chain route. We're good. It'd be nice if we captured him. All right, no capture, but it's fine. Ooh, nope. How's your How's your satisfaction? Oh, you're not leaving. They picked up some good injury traits. Eric. Yeah, that's fine. There's not really a lot of fighting left. Alright, now we can peace out with him. And can you trade with me? Oh, he doesn't want to trade. I can't vassalize because he's still in the Civil War. If I can't trade with him, then there's not a lot of reason to keep him alive. We can kind of beat him down until he's willing to trade. That could be a way. Ooh, yeah, step into our own territory. Big difference with supplies in the game. 
I mean, the mod does make supply more important, but it's not really done well because the AI don't play by the same rules. So it's not like they made supply a, a mechanic that everyone has to play with. It's just, no, you, you have to play with supplies. AI does not have to play with supplies. And that that is not not really fun. Like, what is congestion? What is congested here? Like, like, what is actually congestion here? There's no one else in the commandery. Oh, I guess if they're counting the enemy unit. But see, they're counting Wuling, well, right? He has a land here. So if he has an army here, maybe two armies is equal 10 congestion each. But like, the AI does not suffer from that, right? We are the only one who's suffering from congestion. Unless they're saying we have two armies here. I mean, like, they have gazillion army. I don't see anyone attritioning on their way here. Just saying, it'd be better if it's a mechanic that's applied equally to all. Alright, those two are not dead. They're injured. They've been dumped back. I can summon them back. This other guy. It's you. Alright, no more looters. Even though we kind of are the ones who paid for them. Yes, more could come if someone used that faction council event. It's not really a big problem. Honestly, that's the least of my concern with Hull's Hall, given that he can use his schemes, which we have not been the victim of yet. Alright, so we're done with the southern front, pretty much. Um, it'd be nice to have more armies take care of this, but since Tuzzle, I doubt he has armies here. We're probably fine. Well, he needs to get to here. Still be increasing supply, should be okay. Zhang Fei's supply situation is delicate. But Zhang Fei just needs to go to here, maybe? God, it's low. <laughs> Steal it from Guan Yu is not going to solve any problems. Guan Yu also needs his. All right, five points. Positive four. Yep. We just needed to stay positive. They... Need to move just a little bit so they can reach that next turn. So we're not piecing out with Liu Zhang, I guess. You guys should be on march. And then we might be going to war with them. They have quite a few armies. Not the easiest fight, but we should be okay. Do we need to invest in armies elsewhere? No, we pretty much resigned to the fact that we're going to be losing these settlements. So we're just going to be aggressively downgrading. They can take it for free. Sure, beat. Um, we should be trying to summon units here. But we can also spend the money Maybe on buildings, we still need to reduce some of the corruption reduction. Yeah, court is filled. Okay, so 12k left. Hmm. We could invest the army. Question is where? We 
We could send one here and start taking this. So a slightly more aggressive one. We know he's a burn officer. We didn't let him leave. I don't think he picks up a negative trait. I think that's just something they tell you. We need... One's levels okay. Inshal's pretty high ranked. Wang Zhu should probably stay administrator. Guo's is now down to 33 for deny independence. We might move him away from that position. We can afford his unit now. He can come out and fight. All right, we'll use Zhou Yu's son. Oh, Jie Fan. This is uh, Sun Quan's personal army. Also known as Wu Nan. Jie Fan means someone who is there to solve your frustrations. Alright, we're going to go with archers here because of their ammo. Wait, crossbow has decent ammo too. Are we just having low ammo because the supply issue? I'm actually wondering. Because I've been feeling like the crossbows run out of ammo too quickly. Oh, we don't have enough money. Hmm. Thousand, three thousand. We go cheap. We can maybe squeeze out enough to go full group. I'd rather not go cheap, though. We can wait to recruit the next unit next turn. He just wouldn't be ready to fight. Could be desynced for a little bit. That's that's okay. Ah, uh, the new generals that we picked up. We need to check them out. Some of them have items. Some of them I don't really care to get. Don't draw being. What a mixed bag. I think we can fire him. We have a lot of vanguards. Also fire her. Fajong stays. Ah, got a burn officer. Okay. Yeah, because we have a lot of vanguards, I think I can say goodbye to Ventral and Shu Quan. He has some interesting unit. I don't think we need her. Zhuge Liang and is coming soon. So we'll have enough strategists. So we kept the Burring Girl. Oh, the, she's the Burring Girl. Oh, we reunited a couple. But her traits are pretty average. Okay, we're good here. I think all the armies have moved as well. Hopefully we can wipe out Zhou Min. And Xiaoyang's gone. Oh, we left the administrator there? Uh, he can't get captured, it's fine, 0%. Opens up an administrator position that we can shift around. I'm thinking of moving some of the 
support characters down, Guo Si up. Because Guo Si has that denied independence, which could be problematic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know why the Emperor is still a thing. Okay, so our Administrator also picked up a pretty good trait for injury. Guan Yu, um, which commandery do we need an Administrator in? That's the other question. Gauling, not really. Not high, perhaps. Yeah, it's a pretty big commandery. Oh, Zhangke as well. Hold on, can we do this? Might as well. We're at war with the whole coalition. Okay, I guess we'll come back to this. Why you will take, I'm guessing, a free fight here. And then they should be taking a free fight here too. I think most of his household territory down south should be free because he just doesn't have enough army slots left to put our oh come on what kind of random event is that guess you get a lead for now This should also be a free fight. And they'll defend here instead of defending at Xiangyang. Okay, we just gotta clean this up. I think Dong is actually pretty low level, like rank 2 or something. Bomb slingers, and then some invisible shielded. Uh, see, the problem is because they're invisible, their shield doesn't actually help block anything for these guys. But they're all very short range. Attract arrows. Not replenish it. Not replenish it. D 
debuff some movement. If they're not charging out, we could just push the bomb slingers up, which would kind of devastate their infantry lines here. They don't have a lot of range, and their range are way in the back. I'm going to assume they're not going to charge out, which might end up being a very dangerous assumption. Zhang He's slow because his melee hit rate bonus is much lower than Guan Yu and Zhang Fei's, which we saw earlier. Alright, still got the kill. You can snipe him. You seem to be missing a lot of the shots. And accuracy is a problem. Do we actually cause damage? Three fire? Let's test it out. There, there is like fire right underneath where they're standing. Oh, it feels like just a temporary debuff. Fire. So Shizia should be working with bomb slingers or something like that. Fire archers, maybe. Guess he has some fire archers here. Next, 
Let them walk through the fire. The oil is still burning. Even the general's getting burnt. Yeah, they're dead. I don't need to hit them. Fire got them. Alright, start hitting them in the back. They're coming out. Does not last very long here either. Is he defaulting to to his range ability to his uh melee capabilities? There we go, poison them. And poison the next group. Send these into the spear. Send these into the spear. Clean this up. Trebuchet has insane ammo count. Everything else feels like they don't have enough ammo. I'm probably poison like three units here. Alright, going to melee now. Let's do this. Alright, 
。长剑在手，准备就绪，尽情厮杀，准备好了。剑备战，杀！准备开战，做好准备。哈！敌军士兵正在溃逃，诛灭敌军，鼓起勇气，杀呀！准备拔剑。All right, we're just gonna try to chain route these, kind of repeatedly. 顽强不屈，杀！鼓起勇气。是听命，冲啊！杀光敌军，进攻！注意，准备好了，快速前进！电视准备。Are they still holding? There we go. 到底是无胆鼠辈。快脚步，速速前进！长剑准备，在，赶快赶快，做好准备，诛灭敌军！进军，做好准备，加速前进，不要留情。顽强不屈，进攻，加速前进，加快速度。Just a few more archers, we'll be okay. 加快速度，停住，准备好了，赶快，赶快，冲啊！进攻，时机已至。All right, we don't want them to tank all the enemy infantry. 冲啊！ Pull them back. Stay right here. There's a fatigue effect on that. We can try the other gate. I mean, we'll eventually outmuscle them just with the quality of our units. But it just might be a slow process. Not super impressed with these boys. The limited range. I mean, maybe this type of siege battle is just not meant for them. They're not very good into these, but... Why are they moving so slow? Oh, why, 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 why? You stay out of it. You're gonna get killed. Ooh, we're gonna have to go through. Uh, we're already here. Might as well do it. Lose some cavalry here. Ow, 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 ow. Lucky you. Although there's a bunch that died to the tower as well. Oh, 
顽强不屈，片甲不留，挺住，准备就绪。We have more men. Just that hard to find a place for these javelin guys. Right, I'll go over there. You guys stay on this. Alright, looks like we got the army route. There we go. Stubborn fight, but we got through it. Not so happy with the setup. We might change some of the units. But Joe Min's faction is also wiped. I think we cleaned up most of the borders. I mean, Tsao Tsao is still deep in the south, but most of it's undefended. Should just be a matter of time for us to clean that up. All right, faction wiped, and our borders look a lot better. We're not at war with Yunqi yet, and I think we will go to war with him just because we want Chengdu. It's not really a big deal. Could have pieced out, could have become trade partners, but I think we will fight them. We'll fight them and Liu Zhang, and then we'll set up our borders around here with Han Zhong. Um, most likely, we'll take out Zhang Wu and then start attacking Cao Cao from Shangyong to cut into the Jin province. Uh, they will hold here in Batong. We're going to give up this toolmaker here. We're going to set up some coastal defenses. Guan Yu's army is probably going to go over to Changsha to hold off Cao Cao's attacks. Uh, Zhang Fei's unit, which is now led by Wei Yan because of the little assassination plot, will be cleaning up this. They will clean up this and then turn and then go up. We'll probably summon someone to go colonize, even though it's not a great deal, but Copper Mine's great for a corruption reduction. Their army will also go north, so basically Shixian and Guanyu's unit will go to Changsha to defend. These two will clean up these two regions, Liu Bei's two armies with Huang Gai, plus this one, three will take care of Liu Zhang's former faction, push into Hanzhong, and then battle our way out this way. I don't think we're going to go to war with the Duchy of Zhou, I don't think that's really necessary. And uh, that's pretty much what the situation will look like. It's not too bad, uh, despite the fact that Cao Cao owns quite a bit of the map. But uh, once we get this cleaned up and we can focus our entire army on him, it should be a swift end with access to both kingdom capitals and seats pretty close to each other. So once we push through there, it should be no problem. So if you guys enjoyed it and see you all next time. Bye.